Welcome back. Execration draft is okay, but it's there's gonna be a lot of pressure on them early on. They need that Aegis on TA. Yes. If that's how they take fires. Absolutely. You're gonna be coming up against that meteor hammer, so just to from very long range to be able to disrupt and that combo. Be in trouble down bottom. And they find the drag back into the impale. Really trying to utilize the slow tick in the burn. Top and again. And they'll just turn their attention to the ogre as top lane. Kimizu is going to end up getting dropped. And there's the kill starting to flock on over for Fnatic. He's still doing a good job though. I mean, he's basically level with, with net worth relative to the Chaos Knight when you consider that Raven got the first blood. So of course he got a lot of that. And he's going again. Raven top yep. on Carlo. He's got the snowball got though. He's Kimizu nearby. Ash will give him some space. And with the snowball, Odie's trying to do whatever he can to beat onto Raven, who's actually going to turn it back around. Stick charge is available. Do they dive deep under the tower? They're playing on the outskirts. Raven's going to drag him out. Still somehow alive is Raven. Oh, he he spent that entire he fight with a gauntlets of strength in his, uh, his backpack instead, so... It's level it does six. feel like... Oh, Nando. You were complimenting him about avoiding a lot of the deaths there on the bottom side, but unfortunately the weight of numbers was just too much. Even Vincenzo's sitting towards top as well, so it's going to give Mizu to start. I need some TPs to try and protect Raven. There's the first come into play for the Nyx Assassin, but I mean, Raven's just standing on the ground and looking at man fire. Can they blow up the OD? They can. Now with the help of DJ, they'll turn it back around. It's done onto two. Armo gets involved. Doesn't have enough mana for the Sonic Wave, but it looks like he doesn't even need it. As somehow Raven keeps his life and Fnatic find three. They're scouting out Nando too. Very early level six from DJ. It's got Vincenzo nearby, unfortunately. Bit of a whiff there on the stun. Now with four raiding heroes showing up, might be enough to turn it back around. So look to try and target down James at the moment, but Arnold's even going to blink in the middle. Drops the Sonic Wave, getting rid of Carlo. They're still lacking a little bit of the control for Bob. As a jaunt to the TP out, Arnold's, he got the damage, he doesn't. Park just out to safety. The next one's going to be looking like Raven, unless they're able to catch him out here. Nice coverage it's there pretty by Pretty goddamn beefy. Kimizu's just going to try and pogo stick on forward. They're going to even TP in Bob as well. Raven playing around with the armlet toggles, Bob. He's got the coil up in a couple of seconds. He's going to try and find the angle on the support initially. Even jaunting further on the back line. But now they've been able to close the distance as Raven playing with these armlets. It's not enough as Bob secures the kill. Now they're going to look to try and... Bring down Armel as well. An extra silence of damage. Lucky at the moment. The stun's there, but still, Armel turns it back around. Oh, giving some space, though, for Nando, nonetheless. Uh, third in net worth, closing the distance on the death. So once again, it's going to be Kamizu to start, but the Ice Bath position from Genuel will cancel this, and now they'll just turn it back around as Carlo has compromised his own position. You see Fnatic a little bit cautious on how heavily they want to commit until Raven shows up and now he can follow the distance. It's charging on full thanks to the Surge and they'll blow up the OD once again. It's all Fnatic to start this game. They're looking to make it a triple as well as Vincenzo still sticking around. The Straggler penalized for his position and Raven to find it. And now with tier one tile mid to boot. It was real obvious. So Nando, he's he's running back as quickly as he can. No blink dagger yet oh, on Raven. The vision. But... Raven's going to start straight on top of Nando, but he's nice got Carlo melt. behind him as well. And an even better impale landing onto two, which will slow down the snowball, which is still fast enough to get Nando out to safety. Bob's going to think about swinging on over from the west, but Nando diving deeper and deeper behind the T2 tower. Another great astral to give Nando time. Nice team play. And my turn to Bob, though. Ice Path from downtown. Raven is able to find the extra chain control as Bob. Yeah, Nyx has a blink, so. Oh my, DJ so farmed. This is Armel. He'll split the middle. Raven will do the dirty work if he can cut off Kamizu, but they've got a really strong ward on the high ground for execution. As Kamizu's going to try and jump in four. They're able to secure Nando's life at the moment thanks to the snowball. But now that they're on top of the Templar Assassin, Nando needs assistance. He's going to hold the BKB for round two. But now Raven popping his own BKB. He'll look to deal with the support simultaneously. They get rid of Vincenzo, and now the rest of the cores are on the agenda. Nando, a super defensive BKB. Be out to safety. See Fnatic just holding full control of this game and they can just freely push down objectives. Tier 2 
Under siege now mid. And DJ's just gonna look to jump as soon as the ogre shows. You're gonna be so cautious of how you posture. I mean, Kimizu's already looked to protect him long enough with the Ashel, and well, they've got extra control afterwards. Execration, they're looking to show up, That's though. That's a nice coil. Onto three, but Raven, he's got the BKB, so he's going to be able to get out to safety. Not fast enough, though, is Kimizu. Dropping the sanities enough to find the Chaos Knight kill. Now they can turn their attention to Januel. As Execration trade a three for one, and there's that first real big team fight victory. As they go for this five-man smoke, they want to get a kill, and they want to transition that into Roach. Januel is going to be able to place the ward fast enough, just before they get involved. The blink. A coil onto two. Where's the extra follow-up afterwards? Carl is going to jump in the middle of it all, but they don't have the damage to blow up Raven. Nando committing two. He's got the DD. Armel's in trouble. One more right click's not enough as we're out to safety. Massive amount of buybacks getting back involved through the fight, but Nando, he needs assistance, and he needs it now, but he won't get it. Arm out, gold like here from the Queen of Pain. But they're taking this kind of slow, and this is what I was talking about with that snap decision oh, not to go. they're actually going to run in instead. Oh, Arm out on the high gun. Radiant, they've got the information. And he's going to look to jump up. on forward. Carlo, Duke and driving through the tree line. Snowball alive. further delaying this. Nando's back alive. They're pretty deep as well. well Arnold's even going to commit on forward aggressively. He's going to be cautious. Where's Nando with the damage? It's not fast enough as Almo blows up the outward devour. He does buy back instantly though, so they're looking to rejoin the fight. But DJ's perfectly positioned. Yeah, look at how the Nyx is posturing right now. It's going to be the first to break it. He also gets a spike carapace to cancel Bob's initiation as they Nando snatches the ages. Raven's in trouble. A BKB looking to play off the back of the life still, but Nando now without his own magic immunity. The rip apart the first life to look to park next as well. As Fnatic still haven't lost anyone. Now Nando is stuck inside the pit. Forced to just stand his ground and do as much damage as possible. But Nando is down. Kamizu's next as Jabs. It's going to make sure there's no escape, but the haste, a little bit too slippery. Vincenzo, however, should be the straggler that will be caught out still as Armel hunting through the day. 11, 0, and 8, looking to add another kill to the flawless game that Armel has had so far. It kind of feels like Kamizu's resigned himself to that role, right? Like he's got half the net worth of the rest of the cores. Bottom? Uh, bottom? 3, 4, and 4 at the moment here for Bob, but, I mean, really, Fnatic, now with this kill, they can look to get their last remaining out of tower, and I, I think they know Nando is mid, too. They've already got the normal punch on Jabs, and Nando's a goner. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not the situation that you want there, and you can see Jabs is having a great time. Just throws out the laugh voice line, and well, they're looking to continue putting this look pressure on. <laughs> Let's just dive deep underneath the towers, Carlo. I mean, he's got Snowball up. Oh no, I'm still BKB, relatively healthy, and... I mean, my god, this is just all fanatic. No defense soon to be mounted. Full set of barracks claimed up top, and... They've got no T2s to worry about, so they can continue the siege. Top of the net worth is Usurp the Templar Assassin. We're all soon to be back alive as Carlo, but a bit too late to the party. Away from that, because really, how else Ando's are you going to get Ando's under a ward. Ando? Not again. That's just a quick and easy pick off. Radiant, they're trying to get in the area, but it doesn't look like they'll be fast enough. Raven a little bit disjointed from the team, but he's got that Phantasm available. They look to try and blow up Armel. Coil onto two, but he's still very survivable with Raven. Simultaneously jump in the back line. Two heroes gone. Well, looking at Jaunt oh on forward. Hey, what is Bobby doing right now? He's chilling. Even Raven's diving deep inside the base as well. Secures the kill. Now they're trying to lock on top of Bob. Such a thorn in their side is the puck. He's making them work for it. <laughs> I that's just Bob, right? Like, he's such an individually yeah. skilled player. That'll actually it's going give back him his... In. It'll give him his Ags as well if he wants to buy it. Oh, just it just... went into the ice path. <laughs> Bob? Oh, they did get that big kill on Armel. <laughs> the Aghanim oh, no. Scepter for the CK. Oh, Bob. He's going to run straight into them. Look at the face here fast enough, but he's not quick with the fingers for the blink. As again, 
That's the Nyx Assassin being that X Factor simultaneously. They're on top of Raven, but Raven Phantasm Illusions just assassinate the Templar Assassin. Execration have had enough as Fnatic. Take game one, 38 minutes in. Yeah, pretty devastating. I mean, that was an instant GG call after the fact, and it kind of felt like they were just biding their time, right, until the inevitable eventually happened with, uh, you know, some smiles on the face of Fnatic. Again, they've still got a lot to play for, of course, with uh, this series as Jao, he looks comfy as hell, He's sitting in his blanket. He's got the blankies power, and it was enough to give them the win in this game. All right, and um, do Execration pick... Uh... What's their carry? Yeah. They get to see the brute. Gyrocopter with I'm a so good at this game. Whoa! Let's go! You guys get an extra five cans of Mate Mate each. Yes! yes! It's always going to be a little challenging. Top side, they're actually looking to get a little bit of pressure here onto Vincenzo and Nando. DJ might be the one to fall, though. They got Buster coming out. Oh, a missile partner with Nando. DJ, though, might turn it back around with the abilities back up shortly. A couple more right clicks will do the dirty oh, work. Body blocks. Even the body blocks as well from Jabs. He's got enough mana for the thunderclap, and Nando gonna have to rely on cutting through the trees. But once again, Jabs with exceptional positioning. So I don't think you can put everything onto Bob. But uh, they'd be in trouble. Four stacks of the poison. Look at the Bob's beam as well. They're able to too. burst him down. They will. Oh, Raven now is in trouble. Is Kimizu? So <laughs> dropping a couple of seconds if he can close the distance on the Luna. Cutting through the tree line, playing perfectly well. Selvas Noel, well, but instantly taken care of. Raven finally brought down, and Kamiz just going to look to turn for a secondary target. Jabs, it looks like he's. Is this a media build that we're going to see eventually from the brew? It might even just be a passive ring of health just to make sure that he's able to stay in the lane a little bit more. Bottom lane, uh, Januel. It's going to be brought down armor. We'll TP in on over though. As the boat's available and the control and the damage plentiful to be able to blow up Kimizu. A nice rotation here from the Conquer. Now it does leave Bob solo. We'll see him try and shove up the lane simultaneously. Top, the action continues across the map. Uh, proc, excuse me, that Cinder Brew. Yeah, Jab's going to go for it. Spoot pop, the Nando is going to have to try and play off the Q Jukes, but doesn't even get in the trees. First use of the Primal Split. Jabs will now turn his attention to Vincenzo, even with DJ involved. He just wants some earn charges. And it looks like the Weaver will find them. His I charge, think he, did. I mean, he, he picked up a haste, so I'm thinking maybe he wanted a little bit of extra damage, but I oh, feel he's gonna like try he and charge on mid. Armel's not an easy kill at all, but it looks like if they can burst him before the boat. Surprising amount of damage from Bob. They've still got heroes nearby. Kimizu, though, lacking the surge capability to get out to safety. My god, Chubbs! Just continue to move forward, make the most of the use of that soul ring, and this is going to be a really early ax that Jabs is picking up here. Don't they just dive Nando? They might yep. not even need the slip for it. Forced to drop the core down, incredibly defensive just to maybe thwart the attempt from Fnatic, but regardless, Nando stacking up the deaths. We've got our third support this game for Execration. Not worth not looking good at all. Five deaths so far for this gyrocopter. Not what you want, and it's not like they've even done that because oh, there's the been a lot of space still coming made. out. Carlo, incredible charge on Ford, finding the connection on multiple heroes. But the damage lacking at the moment, Bob, not having the Sonic Wave in the arsenal is still gonna jump on Ford, but he's gotta be cautious. Because Armel standing hand in hand. They've got the boat up shortly, but Bob's out to safety, and now they'll turn their attention to the Weaver as Fnatic. Sticking around for a little bit too long as they trade three for one. Well, they see Raven charge on forward. Genuel standing hand in hand. Doesn't look like there's going to be much nice. to be able to keep the Lunar alive, but incredible banishment. At least not just some of the damage from the Sonic Wave, but nonetheless, Execration will overwhelm the side of Rainy, but they're still looking to take the fight. They've got Bo split up in a couple of seconds. Kimizu's the target if they can burst through the dark, see which they'll do so successfully. A two for one trade to start. What more are we going to see out of this team fight? Bruce still posturing. It's really, are you playing for the super late game or are you playing for the now? And I feel like sure. if you're able to have four primal splits at the. Execration are playing for the now. Carl is going to look to try and charge Raven at the moment, but instantly answered thanks to the purge. And with the backline, Armel going to try and target down Nando. They've got plenty of damage with the help of Jabs by Gyrocopter. Now they can turn towards Kimizu. The BKB timing working dividends here from Fnatic is now Carlos next on the agenda. An X back from Armel into the grasping hands of Fnatic as they find a three for one trade.
losing all your vision, it's going to make it that much more difficult to find a window. Just, How do you start this fight? Out. It's all on Kamizu. A wall used for the vacuum, lacking at the moment. Armel very deep on the front line, but the BKB protecting him for quite some duration. As Radiant looking to overwhelm them on Dai's high ground. As Raven standing his ground, Nando's got no hope to fight. The Luna is Bob's the next target. They've only lost to Conquer. Four down. Spirit Breaker attempting to buy back to rejoin them. Even Nando is going to buy back as well. 25 minutes in, eight deaths on your gyrocopter. Still going they forward. might even make it a ninth as well. Well, they might even call it! It's Fnatic! Steamroll inside the base. That's a die back on your gyro. I mean, this one's feeling done and dusted. Not his own spray right in the you fountain. You gotta do it to him. Run last defense? Maybe? Maybe? Oh, I mean, that is quite the way to start, but... With no damage to follow up afterwards, a hope and a prayer. Fnatic. Man, that is... That's a statement of a series. You just wipe the floor versus Execration. Game one, game two, really no struggle at all. The performance we saw through the lanes, the team fighting prowess, as one last hope of a defense, but the throne soon to fall. Raven, he's still got BKV, and he gets a kill before he dies. Fnatic, what a series. Armel's just having a bit of a stretch. Easy it's clap, chilling. he says to himself. And uh, yeah, Jabs, all smiles along with DJ. It's just...